Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down, be still and quiet, get comfortable. Check that the light is just right in your room and everything feels perfect. Everything feels good enough for you to be still and quiet and start to relax your body as you listen to the story. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were coming out of the pet store. They got outside of the shop when they saw a dog tied to a tree. The dog was a big black dog with a friendly face. It was just sat down waiting, tied to a tree with a piece of rope. It wasn't a leash, it was a rope. Heidi and Cherry and Vea went over to the dog to say hi. Cherry said, Hi! What you doing? How come you tied to the tree? How long have you been there? Have you been there a long time? Did someone just leave you tied to the tree? Or are you waiting for someone? What's your name? How, how, how long have you been there? Are you alright? Because you look, you look a little bit tired or a little bit sad or something or your face looks really nice. My name's Cherry, this is Heidi and this is Vea and we were just inside the pet store looking at guinea pigs because we really like guinea pigs, don't we cats? Cats all nodded. But then we saw you and you're tied to a tree and, and you're all alone and how long have you been tied to the tree? She just went on and on and on like she normally does. When eventually the black dog just went woof. Cherry shut up and listened. The dog said woof again and then said woof, been here ages, woof. Someone just tied me to the tree. I don't know who it was. I got lost yesterday. I've been lost since yesterday. I got out of the back garden of where I live and, and, and I ran because I was really excited and I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran and, and I've got a collar on. My name, my name is Vizel and uh, I'm four, I'm four years old and uh, I don't live too far away but now I'm lost and, and this man just found me this morning, tied a rope around my neck and then Put me here outside the pet store. Maybe he was thinking that someone, woof, I don't know, someone would probably save me or something. But I don't have a number or anything on on my collar. It just says my name, Beazel. That's all it says. It doesn't say my address or, or my name or anything. That's what the man said when he was looking at my label around my neck. He said, hmm, there's no address. Hmm, there's no telephone number. That's what he said. And then he said, How am I supposed to call someone? What am I supposed to do with you? And then, and then he just walked me to this tree and tied me to this tree and, and I've been here ages. Rough, ages. Cherry said, Oh, wow. Wow, that's, that's not very nice. Do you think he just left? Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you think he just left? Or do you think maybe he went to, uh, um, maybe he went to, uh, I don't know. What What would he do, Heidi? What would he do? Would he Would he go somewhere to tell somebody that he found a dog? What What do you do? Just as Heidi was going to answer Cherry's question, a boy walked past. The boy stopped. He looked at the three cats, then he looked at the dog, then he looked at the dog's collar, 
and the fact that the dog was tied up with a piece of rope. And then he smiled and introduced himself and he said that his name was Josh. Vea said to Josh, Me needs some help. Me needs your help. Me needs you to help us because this dog, Vizel, is being tied to a tree. And me thinks Vizel might be hungry or thirsty because Vizel has been here a long time, Vizel says. Oof, I've been here ages, said Vizel. Me thinks that um, we don't know what to do, do we? Said Vea. Cherry said, no, we've got absolutely no idea. Well, maybe Heidi will know, Heidi said. Well, sometimes when you're lost or if you need help, it's good to call the police. Maybe we should call the police, Josh said. We don't have to call the police. Lucky for us, there's a police station just down the street. Maybe we can walk, Vizel, and you guys can come with me, and we'll go tell the police exactly what happened. Maybe the police will know what to do. Good idea, Heidi. All of them walked down the street to the police station. They went inside the police station and introduced themselves at the front desk. It was a very nice policeman with a jolly face, a big, shiny, jolly face. He had big blue eyes and he was wearing glasses. Heidi liked his glasses. She thought that they looked like her glasses. She instantly thought he looked like a nice policeman. Cherry started to speak straight away. Oh, well, hello. Um, we need your help because uh, this dog, Vizel, uh, Vizel, say hello. Oof, hello. This dog, Vizel, has lost. Is he's lost? He says he doesn't live very far. He says that he only he only lives. Well, he doesn't know where he lives, but he doesn't think he lives very far away because yesterday he got out of his garden and he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran but it didn't take him too long before somebody stopped him and tied a piece of rope around his neck and then tied him to a tree outside of the p pet store and now we think he's starving we think he might be really thirsty and really hungry and, and we need help and we don't know what to do we don't can you help us? The policeman listened very patiently as Cherry filled him in on everything. And then Josh filled him in on everything. And then Heidi suggested that the police would be able to help. And she gave the policeman a nice big smile and said that it was her idea to come to the police station. And the policeman said that Heidi was a very smart cat and that Josh was very responsible to bring the dog and the cats to the police station so that they could try and find the owner. After all of that long conversation, the policeman pulled out a flyer. He held the flyer up to everyone. On the flyer was Wiesel. Wiesel with a happy face. Wiesel said, Oof, That's me! Oof. How did you get that? Cherry said, OMG! Oh my gosh, Vizel's like a criminal or something. They already have a picture of him. <gasps> what if like he's a, um, like a thief or something like that? Vizel went, Ooh, no I'm not. I'm a nice dog. The policeman said, someone handed this flyer in this morning. I was about to put it on the notice board for everyone to see who comes into the police station. Luckily for you guys, it has a name and a telephone number and we know exactly who to call and where to take Fiesel to get him to go home. Yay, said Cherry. OMG, this is awesome. That's so perfect. Oh, I didn't think that Fiesel was a thief or something because he looks like such a nice dog. Fiesel went, woof wasn't very happy with Cherry for thinking he was a thief or something like that. 
But everything was good. Visa was going to get to go home. And thank you to Josh's help. And thank you to Heidi for being so smart, taking him to the police station. And thank you to Cherry for explaining everything. And thank you for Wiesel for just being Wiesel. Then everything looked like it was going to work out perfect. The policeman called the number on the flyer. And it didn't take too long before a very nice young lady, who Wiesel obviously knew, because when she walked in the police station... He licked her to death and jumped all over her. Wiesel said goodbye to all of his new friends, Josh, Heidi, Cherry and Vea and the policeman. And then the lady took him home. Josh was talking to the cats on his way out of the police station about how important it is to get the police's help sometimes when you need it. If you're ever lost on the street, or if something is happening that doesn't look right, Josh said it was always good to have policemen around when you need them. Josh said to the cats that maybe when he grows up, he's going to be a policeman. He'd like to be a policeman. He liked the uniforms. He thought that they looked very smart. He told the cats that he'd like to ride around in a police car and save people and do cool things all day. That night, when they got home, when they settled down for bed, Cherry announced that maybe she would be a policewoman when she grew up. She'd like that. She could catch bad people and do cool things all day and save people off bridges and and car wrecks and save dogs when they need saving if they're lost. She thought that she'd be a very good policewoman. She fell asleep thinking about being a policewoman. A little pause, we're kicking and moving. In her mind, she was running down the streets, chasing after people. It would be a very exciting job, she thought. Maybe a little bit too exciting. Or maybe she'd be at a desk all day and that would be really boring. And uh, she'd rather be like a professional skydiver or something. She dreamed about all sorts of stuff. All the different things that she could be when she was older. She couldn't decide. There was too many things that were cool. So she just kept dreaming. And sleeping. And dreaming some more. 